I'm glad we just stepped up to the plate this time. Well, the sign at Hamilton Place Mall says it all. Chattanooga rolls out the welcome wagon. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Mercer. And I'm Renee LaSalle, live from the Enterprise South site where Volkswagen is building its new plant. We'll have more on the excitement and what it means for Chattanooga coming up. All right, thank you very much, Renee. Well, the Tennessee Valley has been trying to land a major manufacturing plant here for years. Today, we did it. And it is the biggest economic announcement here in a generation. How big? Well, here's the bottom line on that. Volkswagen plant will bring 2,000 high-paying jobs to Enterprise South. But that's just a drop in the bucket in the big picture. Some say the plant will spark up to 16,000 jobs locally. Now, the goal is to roll the first vehicles off the line in 2011. We've got live team coverage for you tonight. We begin with WDEF's News 12's Renee LaSalle live in Enterprise South, where they are rolling off the welcome wagon tonight. Renee? John, the land that you see cleared behind me is literally where Volkswagen will be building this plant. Now, this announcement is one that Chattanooga has been waiting for for quite some time, and not just the city will benefit. Folks all across the Tennessee Valley will reap the rewards of Volkswagen. Now, today, you could literally feel the excitement in the air. The Volkswagen Group is building its U.S. factory in Chattanooga, Tennessee. <laughs> Elation is the best way to describe the atmosphere as Volkswagen CEO Stefan Jacobi made it official. The German automaker's $1 billion auto plant is coming to Chattanooga. You have helped my dream come true today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anticipation built for months as the possibility became more of a reality. For weeks, Auto Magazine said Volkswagen passed Chattanooga over, but Friday, and Senator Bob Corker community. got the call. When I received a call from Stefan and David and as to what was going to happen today, and uh, I embarrassed myself because I was emotionally overwhelmed. Seven months and the efforts of more than 100 Tennesseans at the local, state, and federal level paid off in a big way. And we were all in this together. We were going to make something happen, and we did. I wish Washington would take note of what Tennessee can accomplish. From Governor Bredesen's trek to Tennessee 33 years ago with his wife and their worldly possessions crammed in a Volkswagen Rabbit to Chattanooga Mayor Ron Littlefield's promise to buy his wife a new VW if the news was good. Everyone had a Volkswagen story. I know she's watching on one of those cameras back there, and she's probably recording it. But in the end, the governor let the headlines say it all.